Welcome back to uh, White Line Fever and our next guest, a very, very special guest, Mark Turin of Bullet Boys. We're at the Swingers uh, Diner in Hollywood. Hollywood, California. I haven't seen any swingers yet today, but they're probably... Oh, they're all here. They're just masquerading as people. <laughs> Now, Mark, you're, um, you and your band are all over the internet at the moment because you recently had a reunion, uh, all the original members, on the 30th of December. But since then, there's been a bit of toing and froing about whether... Because you did say late in the show, we're never going to break up again. But what's happened since the show? Well, um, it's, you know, it's, it was a wonderful, wonderful night, magical night. It was uh, for one night only to get together for the fans and right before the new year. Uh, we, uh, you know, I, I, I love Jimmy and Mick and um, Lonnie very much. So we we all like uh, we're all like brothers. You know, sometimes we're feuding, sometimes we're loving, sometimes we're not talking. You know, but we've made some music. We made um, some amazing music together, and uh, it was just a wonderful night, man. And, and uh, hopefully, we'll be able to come. Um, at some point to some resolve in the future mm. to hopefully play some more shows. I know I'm open to it and uh, um, I know that I would, I would love, more, love more than anything to uh, continue on with it. I would be you know, like three other men. Yeah, I know that there was, um, that Jimmy the drummer said some stuff on Facebook which about, you know, that you were going to put them on trial for a year and that sort of stuff, but that's not the way you saw it. Actually, it's... Awesome, thank you. Actually, um, Jimmy's statement was a complete falsehood. Um, uh, basically, he wasn't being honest, not only with himself, but with the fans. And that actually hurt my heart very much. Uh, I penned a, penned a letter to all, the, uh, all three of my mates and, uh, to talk about doing something in the future. And <laughs> Jimmy just never really read the letter. He uh, mm. just decided that he was going to air Dirty Laundry out in public and myself, Nick, and Lonnie, uh, we've never done that at the time. Mm. And uh, uh, it, was, it was very hurtful mm. uh, because I was trying to be very open with my feelings and my letter and, and open, open with what, I, what, what we should be able to do. And, <clears throat> I also mentioned that uh, that I wanted to create something for, for uh, our, our fans and, and our, our friends, which would be uh, something new musically. I, I, I don't like to go out and constantly play the old music. I think it's I don't think it's fair. I think if you're a band, you need to come out with something special and with your fans, as good as it is and uh, as good as you can be. And there's a lot of different things that I'd like to do before we start going to play again. Mm -hmm. um, I happen to own the name of the band. Mm -hmm. uh, there's other people in other bands that happen to own the name of the band. Mm -hmm. uh, for whatever reason, God's custom with this name of this band, and I'm supposed to be handling it in the best way that I possibly can. And that's all I've been trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, Anything that I've been saying about Jimmy Miranda, I just want everybody to know that I've known Jimmy since he was probably about 16, 15 years old. Mm -hmm. um, and to me, he has always been the greatest drummer that I've, that I've ever worked with. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes when you get older in life, sometimes it's harder to trust people. Mm -hmm. And when that trust isn't there, or maybe that they don't want to trust or they're scared to trust or something or we're all scared to trust. It's a big thing now. Mm -hmm. you know, it's really hard to walk back into something and uh, um, I think that uh, that I have that I have much respect for Jimmy and for Nick. I know that Lonnie's gonna be playing some shows with me. Mm -hmm. I spoke to a couple days ago. Uh, I'm hoping that Nick comes and plays some shows. Uh, I've spoke to Nick about possibly producing the new little boys record. Mm -hmm. Very, very open to it. I think he's an amazing engineer, singer songwriter, an amazing person, has mm -hmm. a heart of gold, uh, extremely, extremely intelligent and the best guitar player I've ever played with mm. in my career. Mm. Uh, but you know, it's in line. <laughs> he's been playing shows with me off and on. He's my bo he's my guy. You know, he's my mm. brother. And I I'm never gonna. I'll always be there for him. Mm -hmm. you know, I love his family. You know, he's like my mother and father's other son. Mm. So um, I just, you know, I I don't want to have any. Negativity around yeah, yeah. Stephen. Yeah. This next year, a lot of people say a lot of things about me, Stephen, and they, they, they don't really mean it. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I, I, I dealt with a lot of strife in my life, I dealt with a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, I've been through a horrible divorce, I've nearly destroyed my soul. Um, to try to come back from that, and uh, to try to do what I'm trying to do right now musically, I'm trying to do the best I can, I'm not perfect, mm. but uh, I've recently made, recommitted committed myself to God, Christ mm. and the Holy Spirit, mm. and it's a very hard path to walk, mm. but I put God in my life first and before anything. Mm -hmm. and, uh, in my life, for me, that works for me. Mm. When I try to go out and do what Mark wants to do, and mm. try to say what Mark wants to say, I, I, it just doesn't come out right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I try to pray about it first, and I'm mm. very strong in it. I wouldn't say I'm a man of religion. Mm. I would say I'm a man of faith. Mm. Mm. And that, uh, I have a very strong faith to continue to grow in my faith. Mm. Mm. Uh, to be closer to God and to be more open to musically and artistically to do something like on a grand scale. That's a positive life. Mm. And Mm. Um, it's already been a great interview. It's, for the listeners, it's the end of this week's program. Uh, you'll be back with us next week. Uh, um, but a song. I'm sorry, I'm a bit too wordy. No, 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 no. Um, a song to finish this program, and we'll be back. It, it, I'd like to say, Stephen, uh, it feels like I've, I've known you for some time. I don't know. It's mm. being quite open with you. I'm usually not that open, but I do want to say this. That I don't want to thank anybody else for those guys. Mm -hmm. I love them. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that with the grace of God that we'll still be able to work something out. Mm -hmm. um, and I really want to do this for, for not only for fans, but I'd like to do this for the fans. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you got to be a little bit selfish. You know, you, 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 you got to think about, about I like, I, I wish to do it all, think about Mark. Welcome back to White Life Fever, and I'm again with Mark Torian of the Bullet Boys now. You spoke to us about what's happened since the reunion show on the previous program. Tell us what the plans are now for Bullet Boys. Will the four of you be playing together anytime soon? What have you got on your plate? Um, are there any tours? I mean, there was talk of you getting, as the original members, a support on a major tour. Has that now fallen by the wayside? Um, not, not really. Uh, we're trying to figure some things out. I think if we give each other some space and time to think about different things, maybe uh, we could do some things in the future, all of us. Uh, right now, uh, I'm a person that tries to not live in the past, and tries to live in the now and for the future. Mm -hmm. In the now, um, working on a brand new, um, brand new video and a brand new single for the Bullet Boys that hopefully will be released in the next couple months. Uh, we'll also be on tour this summer, all summer, here in the States and abroad. We have great one, Jack Ross is great one. Okay, and who's in your lineup for that tour? I, I would love to tell you right now, but I, I'd much rather uh, save that until we release it. Right, okay.